John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. As you can see, I'm not driving my Mercedes today and I'm not driving my Lexus today either. Today I am driving my, my other vehicle, it's an Acura MDX. And the reason I'm driving this car is because I'm back in Vancouver. That's right, I'm back in sunny Vancouver in the summer and it feels just like Orange County. It's beautiful, it's sunny, there's no rain and I, I love it. Vancouver in the summer, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. One of the advantages of living a .com lifestyle is I am able to live anywhere in the world and run my business from anywhere in the world. So uh, in the summertime, I run it from Vancouver and during the rest of the year when it's not like this in Vancouver, I run it down from Orange County, California. I just got back from the uh, Affiliate Summit in Philadelphia. Excellent show, had a good time. Met a lot of people, met a lot of new people, met some old friends, old faces, reconnected. And I really love events like this because uh, face-to-face networking, you still can't beat it. Right now, I'm headed to the Apple Store in uh, Oak Ridge Center in Vancouver. And the reason I'm doing that is because, well, I need to upload some videos that I took at Affiliate Summit, there's a there's still four videos I need to upload. And when I'm in Vancouver, I, I generally use my uh, the SIM card that's in my iPad that I get from Virgin Mobile, and that's what I use. But the problem with that is that the speed is not very fast, and especially the upload speed is like painfully slow, painfully slow. And also the uh, the videos I got is it's over a couple of gigs, and I use up my entire data plan if I would upload it. Not only will be slow my data plan we all used up. So I'm going to the Apple Store because the Apple Store has blazing fast internet and it's open and it's available to anyone just walk in. Basically I'm going to be working for the Apple Store. Another advantage of working from the internet and doing blogging and internet marketing is I just need internet access and the fastest internet access is the Apple Store so that's where I'm going. I mean a lot more people go to Starbucks coffee or to go to a coffee shop and that's all well and good but first of all you have to buy a coffee and I don't, I don't feel like buying five bucks for a cup of coffee and the internet it's not that it's not that fast and you're sharing it among who knows how many other people that's in the coffee shop and the upload speed is capped around maybe 100k so it's going to take you hours to upload even one video uh, last time I was at the Apple store in Oak Ridge the download speed was 30 megabits and the upload speed was 20 megabits at that kind of rate, I'll upload these four videos in about five minutes. And I'd rather get in there, get it done in five minutes, and instead of waiting two or three hours at a coffee shop. Right? So, you know, you, you do whatever it takes. And really, that's what I want to talk to you about, doing whatever it takes. Right? A lot of people, you know, they say they want to make money online, they want to start a blog, they want to live the dot-com lifestyle, but they're not willing to do what it takes. They, they're looking for that, that magic bullet, you know, the, the secret push-button formula that will just make them instantly rich. Yeah, I just want to pay 49 bucks, 97 bucks, or whatever. I don't, I don't want to pay for it all. I just want it done, and boom, I'm rich. Now, come on, we, 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 we all know, no matter what the advertising says, no matter how much hype there is, that there's not really no such thing. You know, you, you have to do some work. And you not only have to do some work, but you basically have to do whatever it takes to get it done. Whatever it takes. Like, uh, I, I'm limited to my 3G speed right here while I'm in Vancouver. I'm in LTE, which is not that fast. So, I, if I have to, I'll go to a coffee shop. But if I have a faster solution, I would, I'm going to the Apple store. I mean, I would go to the Vancouver library, but I don't have my library card. So, you know, you don't let that stop. You just do whatever it takes. Doesn't matter where you are. When we were at, we were at the Affiliate Summit and I needed to upload videos, I mean, I will find a place to do it. As simple as that. I mean, when there's a contest going on right now, I mean, I'm in a mobile contest right now, $50,000 contest, 25000 bucks for first place. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to win it. I, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win it. And if I don't win it, it wasn't because I did not try my best. And that's all you can really ask for. You can only ask for your best. But the average person 
just not willing to do what it takes. Matter of fact, I get so many emails all the time, and really, this is more of a rant. I'm gonna go in rant mode now, okay? I'm gonna go in rant mode, right? I get emails all the time from people just asking me to, how do I do it? Like, they're not really asking me, how do I do it? They're just saying to me, do it for me. And here's how I know why. Because they download my free ebook, all right? They download my ebook. They don't even want to read it. They, I actually get email like this. They go, yeah, I downloaded your ebook, but I don't, wanna, I don't have the time to read it. Can you tell me what it's about? I get those kind of, that's serious. You might think those are isolated case. I get tons of those emails. They, down, they download the email, they download my ebook, they, they, they realize that, oh, 60 pages, it's too long, I can't read it. I'll just send you an email. Maybe you can summarize it for me. And same thing with blog posts. I write a blog post explaining how to do this, and they go, oh, can you tell me what it's about, the blog post? Sometimes they ask me a question, and the answer is in the title of the blog post. The title gave the answer, and they asked me, what's the answer? Because <laughs> these people, they just, they say, yeah, I want to make money. I want to do it. This sounds great. I mean, they don't even need to do 100% what it takes. I mean, yes, just read the blog post. Just read my ebook. Just read my blog if you want to learn how to do it. Don't email me asking me a question that's already been answered in my blog post, already been answered in my ebook and everything. You know what my reply to those people are? I says, read the book. I'm not, I'm not giving you any, I'm not going to give you anything that I did not put down on the internet or put down online. All right, so there's not going to be any magical thing coming out of my mouth in, that, in my reply to your email. Right. So, and the truth of the matter is, you know, the truth hurts. And this is the truth. Most people are lazy. And here's the thing. You can make a lot of money off lazy people. You know, you make a lot. Of, the reason I make the money that I do is because most of my readers are just lazy. They're just plain ass lazy. I'll say it right now. They're lazy. They don't do anything. They want to push by the magic system. They just go around buying products after product after product, expecting one product, that's expecting a product is going to be the magic bullet that's going to make them rich. They figure, John made the system. I'm going to buy it. It didn't make any money, but I'll go buy shoe money. So I'll buy this guy. So, oh, John made another system. I'm going to go buy that. The thing is, they buy all this. Here's the okay. key. Most of these systems work. If you work it, and that's a key. If you work it, the system works. You will make money by blogging if you actually blog. You will not make money by reading how to blog. You actually have to start the blog. You will make money on YouTube if you upload videos to YouTube. How do I make money on YouTube? I go upload a video. How many videos you uploaded? None. All the time. I get this kind of email all the time. Right? I mean, Success does not come from osmosis. Success comes from you actually doing something. You actually doing the work. I laid it all out for you. My, you know, my, my course, Blogging with John Chow, it's a complete blogging course. It's my five years of experience with make, creating a money-making blog. It's all laid out for you. If you just follow it and do what it says, you will succeed. But you won't succeed if you just send me an email saying, Oh, how do I do it? It's in the, it's in the book, it's in the course, right? So, I mean, it, I said, I'm sorry, but I, I am ranting, but I get these type of email all the time, and, and I, I generally want to help everybody. I do, I generally want to help everybody, but you know, it's like God help those who help themselves, all right? You gotta help yourself too, all right? I mean, all my stuff is laid out. If you don't want to pay money, there's enough information on my blog that will show you how to do everything for free. That's my free ebook. If you want a little more handhold, more step by step, I got blogging with John Chow. I am John Chow. They cost a bit of money, but not that much. And they're more concise. They get to the point. They go for you step by step, follow through. But like I said, it, in the end, you still have to do it. All right? You still have to start the actual blog. You still have to actually write your first blog post. And if you don't 
do that, if you don't even follow the first basic few steps, then the other stuff like, oh yeah, when should I put advertising on my blog? You know, when should I sell this? When should I post advertising? When should I try to get free stuff? <laughs> you can't do any of that stuff until the blog is actually up and you got some posts running and you're creating content, you have a readership. But too many people just want the, the end goal. The end goal, you know, the end goal. I want the dot-com lifestyle. I want what John Chow has achieved and I want it right now. And the shift, and the shift of the matter is, it's not the end goal that matters. What really matters is the journey along the way. You know what, and you know why I keep starting new projects? I keep starting new projects and keep coming up with a new thing. It's because it's not the end goal, it's the journey. This process of creating these products, launching it and seeing it become a success, seeing it make money, that's what's really fun. That's what I get a thrill out of. I mean, once the money starts coming in, the money starts coming out, it's, it's just money. It just comes in, it's just, it's just a number. But the actual thrill of creating something from nothing and then being able to turn it into something of value that people will pay for, that's the journey, the process. That's exciting. That's what gets me up at night. That's what gets me going. So this, uploading these videos, going to the Apple Store, uploading this video, this is what keeps me going. This is what I'm passionate about. I want to share my journey. I want to share what happened at Affiliate Summit, saying I'm doing what it takes right now. I mean, I'm, taking, I'm, driving to the, I'm driving to the Apple Store, I'm going to upload this video, then I'm going to go home, and I'm going to write the blog post and get it up there so you people can read it and get experience from it and get value from it. Right. And I guarantee you, afterward, after these videos upload, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna ask the question, oh, uh, how do I make money? Right, okay, how do I make money? <laughs> Happens all the time. But like I said, uh, I guess this uh, drive episode of Job and John Shaw is really more of a ranting post and kind of a teaching post, but I hope basically the theme is do whatever it takes. All right, guys, do whatever it takes. Keep your end goal in mind. Keep it in mind, that's your end goal. But remember that it's a journey. That is where you learn and where you grow. And it's a journey that will provide you with the fulfillment. All right? So reward yourself along the way. Enjoy the journey. All right? So every time you accomplish a little mini goal, reward yourself. You set up a blog, do your first blog, give yourself a little reward. You set up, uh, you write your first blog post, give yourself a little reward. You make your 400 bucks, go out for dinner with your loved one, your kids, your family, and set a little reward, right? Make the reward proportional, make the reward proportional to the achievement, right? Like, you know, don't, don't, go, out, don't go out buying a Mercedes Benz when you just set up a blog, you know? Just maybe when you make your first $100,000 a month, then, oh yeah, go ahead, buy yourself a car. Buy yourself a car, right? But that gets you motivated, there's a little journey, there's, the journey is fun, it keeps you motivated. The little rewards on the way keeps you motivated. You keep the end goal in mind. But the key is, you just go do it. Do whatever it takes. Don't let anyone steal your dream. Lock the naysayers out of your mind. I mean, you're gonna get a lot of negative people. I get a lot of negative email. You get a lot of negative people. How you react to them will determine your success. Do you like let them get you down and start believing in them and going, oh yeah? Or do you just say, oh, does this make you more motivated to you and prove them wrong? Prove them wrong. Do whatever it takes. This is John Chow from johnchow.com, and I will see you on the next episode.